person I want to talk about is Aldo Leopold. He was a, a person who came up with the idea of another land ethic, another approach to protecting natural areas that is known as the evolutionary ecological land ethic. Curry, you have to allow species an opportunity to evolve and change as the environment changes. And that's particularly important now that we look at climate change and see how quickly things are changing. If we remove something from the system, we should restore it. If we've taken the wolves out of Yellowstone, we should put the wolves back into Yellowstone. The idea is for there to be active management of these natural areas in order to improve them and to ensure their uh, stability into the future. So really, he's integrating the human impact on the environment into what was a preservationist philosophy. It's expanding that preservationist philosophy. A couple of things that he uh, have, has written that, that were very important. One is a book called The Sand County Almanac. And he uh, was a trained forester, and he wrote uh, a paper in the Journal of Forestry, which is a scientific journal of uh, professional foresters. And his paper was called A Biotic View of the Land, and it outlined this philosophy. And it was so influential to forestry that the U.S. Forest Service adopted the land ethic, the evolutionary ecological land ethic, instead of the resource conservation ethic. And in adopting the land ethic then, it broadened the expanse of what the U.S. Forest Service was doing. The U.S. Forest Service was not going to be solely responsible for just the trees, but you had to look at the entire functioning ecosystem. And that you needed to leave certain areas alone if they were important habitat for uh, breeding of rare species or migratory birds and other areas that you could um, manage in a, a more ecologically, evolutionarily uh, stable way.